our poles, hoping that in the night the wind will change and we'll have a nice following wind for some downwind sailing. And the sunset is very, very pretty. And nobody has been seasick yet. That's good. <laughs> and we still have chocolate fridge cake. We still have chocolate fridge cake. So uh, this thing has come up <clears throat> along, not behind us, but alongside us a little bit, passing us really. Turns out to be a tanker, a tanker with no transponder on it, which makes me wonder if it's a tanker that's being decommissioned because it's not in great shape. When we put the sails out to, and it's stay free. And how fast are we going, Alfie? We're going at about 4.6 knots. 4.6 knots. There we go. That's the downwind sails up there. Hey, isn't it much nicer without the engine? Yeah. Am I right? Is it day three? It is day three. And it's lunchtime, and we are finally sailing. Yay! And we have and we're having strange food. Rose is having experimental food that she claims she had before. We're not convinced. We think she's just invented it. It's really nice though. What are you having, Rose? Sugar and cucumber. <laughs> Here we go. The rest of us are having crackers. Don't so try this at home. It's don't try it at home, yeah. It is nice. Oh, it's complicated, this lunch. We're having banana bread. Sorry? We're having a banana bread. Oh, okay. So here's the water maker filling up one of our um, spare water bottles. Thanks for running this thing today. We've actually um, now got more water than we had when we started. Well, it's the end of day three. Sunset's coming down. There's, a, I think, there's a fishing boat on the horizon there. The typical of fishing boats. It's got no transponder, so it's not giving us any information about which way it's going. I've locked a radar, radar tag onto it. You can see here. It's actually. Travelling at five knots, 150 degrees. So it's been um, bouncing back and forth across our course. So I'm hoping it's going to it's going to make its mind up and not be something we have to avoid. Anyway, sadly we're motoring yet again because of the relatively low wind speeds. The wind's beginning to come from the direction we need, but um, there's not quite enough of it yet to really go for it. So we're going to motor for a few hours until it really builds up. Morning of day four of our Atlantic crossing. We have our twin head sails up and we are managing just over six knots. It's not so sunny. We don't know we're going to charge the solar panels very well today. Uh, Rose is having a banana for breakfast. Caribbean breakfast. Oh. I finished it. No, there was still like a smudge there. I don't know. And the rest of us had that little moldy. Yeah. But I want oh, more. Oh, there's coming out. Oh, and we do have a slight problem with our fruit hammocks, which is when the boat rolls. The apples tend to seem to roll to one end. So we're not sure whether we'll have fruit for much longer. <laughs> Clip on. a big family of dolphins. Oh no, it's yeah. Don't worry, the kids are clipped onto the jack stays. Where's an Alfie then giving them names?
35, 40 years? I don't know actually. It's a good question, Rose. After lunch on Park Day 4, I'm just plotting our position on the chart here. We seem to be doing alright. We've come down the coast of Africa and we're now leaving Africa and heading sort of vaguely in the direction of the Cape Verde Islands. Uh, and we're sailing downwind, so we've got our downwind sails up. We're doing about six, maybe seven knots, actually, I think, at the moment. Just about six knots. Um, and we're doing it to 224 degrees. So we're basically travelling with what's called the Canary Current, <laughs> hey. um, and, uh, and it's great. But unfortunately, the winds need to change a bit later on and get uh, in a few days' time and get a bit more exciting. At the moment, we've only got about 18 knots at most, and now it's about 13. So uh, we're not quite sure what's going to happen. We may have to check out the secret weapon. Mm. super pod of dolphins we've sailed pretty much like this with twin head sails all day long made it up to seven knots had a really good day uh, so um, i was hoping for a nice gentle night watch and um, some more sailing tomorrow before the wind well hopefully it doesn't completely drop but it's forecast to get a bit weaker anyway hey good day day four supplemental Downwind sailing seems to agree with the kids. This is just after the night watch, and they're watching uh, program on the tablet. <laughs> it's day five in the Atlantic crossing, and it's really, really hot, as you can see. And we just played a game of squiggles. squiggles. And it's Alfie's turn to squiggle. I don't know what I'm going to squiggle. I'm squiggling for me, which is going to be impossible. I'm just going to like, like. Hopefully, you guess what this is. Hopefully. I really want you to guess what this is. It okay. should be good. Three lines, here we go. And after a small water maker crisis, which turns out to have been the hose that takes water, seawater into the water maker getting kinked by the tool box falling on it. We've got it working again. And Kerry is cooking this. Coffee sandwiches! We've got some bread making in the oven. No. And we are yes. frying up some sausages. Hey! Yummy! It sounds absolutely delicious. It smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're washing up in seawater. It's still hot. It's still hot. It's getting hotter. We have our shower bag and we're going to shower. <laughs> Salt water, Alfie. Day five, end of day five, really. And we are becalmed um, pretty much. We've got six knots. We've got our mainsail and our a little stay sail up because the head twin head sails are still on the furler. And we're doing an impressive 1.5 knots south west <laughs> um, so we're not really making quite so much progress towards the goal of getting to the caribbean as we were this morning it's probably gonna be like this all night as well hey ho fingers crossed tomorrow we get some wind and uh get moving again it's quite pretty though However, there's still a bit of a swell which is making it not as pleasant as otherwise it might be These quiet, calm evenings always seem to come just before sunset, and then the wind picks up. When we do get a calm spot like this, we're always trying to do some jobs and cook. Elf is cooking. Rosie's sketching. But failing epically. Okay, Rosie's failing to sketch. Uh, this face um, is impossible, lady. Can I yeah. have a different one? Big dolphin has just gone by just after <laughs> I was doing the video saying <laughs> we'll be calm. <laughs> going by very slowly. <laughs> it seems to be actually going around us. Yeah. It literally thinks we have fish. Hmm. We do, but mum's refusing to give us her, the, give her, give her the tuna. Oh, so, Dad, what are you doing right here? I'm making pancakes. Ugh. Attempting to make pancakes. I've got to mix them up in the bottle, and there's always a bit at the bottom that's getting stuck. So, 
Ah, I'm trying to mix it. I think I've kind of run out of steam though. Would you say this is the most strenuous exercise you've done on the boat? Cheers, so this is a good workout to making pancakes, definitely. <laughs> and see what we can do. Dan, dan, dan. Oh, it's a rose. Mm -hmm. What's your verdict on Daddy's pancake? Mm -hmm. It's very hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot. Hot, but, but, delicious. but delicious. Alfie, are you having one next? Yes, I guess so. And with it, would you like to take a little film of Daddy in action? Yeah. Or the chef? So what are you doing here, Dad? Well, it's day six, so we're having celebratory pancakes. Woohoo! Alfie, what's the verdict on the pancakes? Mm. Five out of ten. <gasps> Only five out of ten? <gasps> what are you up to, Rose? I'm trying to record Alfie's voice, but he's too quiet. And then This is Moonstruck 3, who another ARC boat, who kind of come up behind us um, over the morning. And they're probably going to pass us in a minute because they're a bit bigger and faster than we are. And um, we had a chat with them on the radio, which was probably um, the first social contact we've had with anyone else that wasn't email. So that's pretty cool. And we helped them fix a problem with their radio too, so it was all good. Same here! Same yeah, here. bananas were good! Our, our bananas weren't right! Right. Yeah. Cool. We were very excited that there was anyone else yes. to talk to anywhere nearby. This That's was one plan. of the big moments of the trip. We're getting ready to practice with our secret weapon. So what are you doing right now, Dad? Getting ready to uh, try out the secret weapon. What is our secret weapon? Dun, dun. In this bag. We're just setting up ready for it, is that right? Yep. Oh, I'm just a rope stand now, am I? So some of us are having a, uh, a late, late breakfast. I woke up, I, I woke, only woke up a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have deployed well, the secret the weapon. Dun, dun, dun. Coffee. Day six, and we're all turning into couch potatoes of one sort or another. Rose and Alfie are watching the Minions movie, yeah. and me and Kerry are sitting on deck, doing pretty much nothing apart from reading the Caribbean cruising guide, yeah. <laughs> trying to decide where to go. I keep watch very intensively. Yeah. How many ships are on the horizon? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Day six, and uh, it's not been a great day. We've sailed a lot of miles, but we've done them mostly south. And uh, we could do maybe more west, but the wind's taking the south. We know it's going to change late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So we're just hoping that change will take us in the direction we want to go.
Um, we're just passing a very strange yellow buoy in the middle of nowhere, which is north of Cape Verde. Um, it's been quite a good day, weather-wise. Um, we've got back up our um, twin headsail rig. Um, we've agreed to try with our secret weapon. Uh, but if we don't have enough wind for it, we need a bit more. So we might try that again in a couple of days and see how it goes. But um, the sunset is really pretty. things that people say about these twin head sail rigs is they do cause a lot of rolling. It's true we are getting a lot of roll. The boat is rolling from side to side as waves pass underneath the boat. Partly that's because the waves are coming that way and we're going this way. But here's a great. Hopefully tomorrow we can try a secret weapon. Yeah, try again. Okay. I am chopping up all of our rubbish into small pieces so that it can be compressed and then fit in our anchor locker. Um, because three stroke four weeks of rubbish is not going to fit on the boat otherwise and um, it's much um, more than I can do this way. Cool, good plan. Well it's day seven and it's all go here. We've got the water maker going to make some water which is filling the shower bag. Uh, so we can have showers. The kids have been doing some paper crafts and playing some Nintendo and Kerry's doing the rubbish. And we are flying the Secret weapon. There it is. That's pulling us along at six knots. Pretty cool, man. So, dinner time, day seven. We've just had shepherd's pie. How was the shepherd's pie, guys? Nine percent out of ten. Nine percent out of ten. Yeah, they added vegetables. Oh, well, I thought it was amazing. It was nice, but they added vegetables, so it's only got a really yummy, scrummy dinner. Yeah, well done, Kerry. Thank you. During the night, the weather changed much for the worse. This is day eight right now in the Atlantic Ocean. It has not been going very, very well. We're turning back. We no, we're not turning back. We're just going to a different island. is going on outside. It's an amazing amount of boat movement. <sighs> Hang on a sec. Alfie's doing this. <laughs> These waves don't look big, but they lift the boat three or four meters every time one goes underneath us. There was so much wind, we put up a tiny third reefed mainsail and zoomed along at six knots without the engine on, which was just as well because I had no idea how I was going to safely refill the tank in these conditions. The weather's been terrible for the last couple of days. We've had four meter high seas, very confused, choppy ones. We've got winds, 30 knots. So we've just decided to knock it on the head, come into Cape Verde. So we've got to sail through seas like the ones behind me here. Um, and uh, we've got water over the edge of the boat, water coming in the boat all over. 
really. And um, people thought it well actually. The kids are watching a video downstairs. Me and Kerry have done a bit of deck work to run a more stay sail. Solo has just passed us flying at uh, about 12 knots. I don't know how they're managing it, they've got all their sails out by the look of it. But um, we've got we've got our tiny little that smallest bit of mainsail, nothing else. And we're doing about four and a half knots. Uh, sadly we didn't think of buying charts for Cape Verde before we left Las Palmas. four of the boats here in Mindelo once we got in and all the winds howling through the sails and the seas moving and the boats moving almost as much as if we were at sea uh, it looks like we can get some rest and fix our water pump. The four other ARC boats all had stories to tell about the weather and repairs to do and we all agreed to take it easy and set off in about five days time. 